here today to talk about the Australian Gold Sun Protection Factors. So first of all, what is an SPF? What is a sun protection factor? Well, it's a universal measurement on how long you can actually be exposed to the sun. So for example, with myself, um, I can stay out in the sun for approximately 10 minutes before I start to burn. That's without any sun protection factor. So if I was to use an SPF 6 or an SPF 10, then I could stay out 6 or 10 times longer than my 10 minutes. So for example, if I was using, say, the SPF 15 motion, I can stay out for 15 times longer, so 150 minutes, before I then have to cover up and go indoors. So, you know, put a, put a hat on, make sure that I'm actually covered, go in the shade. Um, it doesn't mean to say that you can keep reapplying the lotion and you'll get more protection. You are only protected for the number of minutes that that lotion will cover you for. So again, if I was to put on an SPF 30, I could stay out for 30 times longer or 300 minutes before I need to cover up or go indoors. So when it comes to an, a lotion, to an SPF, how much should you be applying? Well, the recommendation is approximately 30 ml, um, and that's for an all over body application, with 5 ml being used on the face. So 5 ml equates to a teaspoon. So, you know, obviously it's not a measured amount, you know, that you can actively see. So you'd have to get the lotion, pour it in, um, and make sure that when you are applying, that you apply in a circular motion. Um, this enables the lotion to be absorbed very, very quickly, but also evenly. Um, we also recommend that you reapply at least every two hours. This is to keep the skin hydrated. It doesn't mean to say that you're going to get any extra protection, which a lot of people have this misconception that if they're laying on in the sun, they can keep reapplying their lotion and they can stay out for longer. That isn't the case. Um, the idea behind the reapplication is to make sure that the skin is covered and being protected, but it's also to hydrate the skin and give it all the goodness that it needs. Um, so with our lotions, you know, this is this is the point that they are a, a natural product. They contain vitamins, um, nutrients to actually feed and repair the skin as well. So the application is very important. Make sure that you get every area of exposed skin covered. So don't forget your nose, don't forget the tops of your ears, don't forget your feet. A lot of people forget their feet and that's a, an area that readily burns. So make sure that you are completely covered um, reapply every two hours, even though the lotion is um, water resistant up to 80 minutes, you still need to reapply if you've been in the swimming pool, if you've been in the sea, if you've showered, you know, if you're playing sport and you're sweating excessively, make sure that you do reapply so that you are protected. A question I'm asked a lot on the actual SPF factors is, you know, if, if you use an SPF 30 and an SPF 15 together, does that make it an SPF 45? No, you will only be protected by the highest factor, so i.e. the SPF 30. You can't mix the SPFs together to make a higher factor. So, when you're using the lotion, we know how to apply but when should you apply it? The idea is to, to apply 20 to 30 minutes before sun exposure. So the best thing to do is if you're on holiday, put the lotion on before you go out into the sun, you know, before you leave the apartment. That gives the active ingredients time to actually be absorbed and start working. Then when you go outdoors, you can obviously keep reapplying as I've already said, um, and make sure you do that at least every two hours. The sun protection factors are different to a, a lotion that you would use for indoor tanning. Indoor tanning lotions are designed to be used immediately before tanning, so no longer than 10 minutes before. But you can layer the two together. 
So what I would suggest is you put the SPF on before you leave the apartment and then when you get down to the beach or the pool, you can then put your normal tanning lotion, your intensifier accelerator on over the top and then keep reapplying the SPF with the tanning lotion throughout the day to give you full protection but also enhance that tan. So as I've said, this is an outdoor sun protection factor. Um, you wouldn't use this ordinarily on a sunbed because that would defeat the object of actually having you know, a controlled environment with the, the correct number of minutes for the person going on the bed. There are some exceptions though. You know, If you do have any moles or scar tissue or any areas that you want to protect from the UV, you can use the SPF in that instance on a tanning bed. But these are for outdoor use.